Here is the DRC9310. A super cool 116 scale truck. I'm gonna show you all the play, tell you all about it. Then when we get done trying to break it, we're gonna do a review of it. And if you're still interested, wanna know how it's packaged and how it's gonna come to you, the very end there will be an unboxing as well. So as I said, this is 116 scale. They say it's good for up to 30 miles an hour. We'll have to see what I say after we get done trying to break it and we do that review. It is four-wheel drive. It's got a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio, which is going to give you lots of good range. It comes with two 850 milliamp hour batteries. They're projecting a 40 minute runtime. We'll see if I have any comments on that as well. This is really designed for beginners and maybe an intermediate but really it's a beginner RC truck even though it's a beginner truck it comes with a 380 motor with a built-in heat sink that does over 21,000 rpms so it really should be pretty darn quick for what it is independent suspension which is obviously what you need for doing off-road activities like this but let's go talk to me after the destruction fest and see how I did it breaking it see how I drove see what my thoughts were let's go talk to Doug what a pleasant surprise today was. This was absolutely a revelation, right? I was not expecting much from this cute little adorable DERC 16th scale RC. Very inexpensive, very simple looking, but so fun. I, I swear it is like almost like they've found that secret magic sauce, right? DERC has these perfect beginner RCs. You could give this to any kid who is into these things and they can play forever. I don't believe it is possible for them to break it at the speed it goes and it's not and it and it's also pretty impossible to like kind of crash out because it's not that fast that it starts flipping and crashing, but it is just so fun. It's that like perfect level of you can't get yourself in trouble, but it is fast enough to have just a great time playing with it. You saw it on the road, you saw it in the dirt, you saw it flying in the air, all those kind of things. It is absolutely, if you're looking for a gift or something for yourself, the link is below. You cannot go wrong with this. This thing is absolutely a full five out of five on the Doug score for the perfect starter RC. There's nothing else to say. Battery life is good. Speed is good enough that you giggle and have fun. Can't hurt it either. And the only thing I gotta do is clean all this sand off of it and my car, cause it's been a long hot day out here in Florida. Hope this was helpful. Hey, why don't we go see that unboxing? Let's go see what I thought about it initially. You saw the play, you saw the review. Now you wanna see what's inside the box. I do too, this is the past. I have not seen this. I am so excited, I love this. The 116 scale is a great size, especially for a first RC or something like that. Because they're so small, they seem to be overpowered, always go like wildly fast. You would know better than me because you've been watching the video. <laughs> hey, enough of that. All right. Oh, I'll go make your wait to see that for a minute. All right, let's see what we got here. Here is the remote. This is the very standard DRC basic remote. It's got all the controls on it. I always say I would rather have it have a little bit of foam, but apparently they save enough money by doing that. 2S batteries there, and we can get rid of that too. All right, let's take a look at the RC. This thing is so cool. All right, let's do, there's really no point in doing it, but let's do it, the drop test. We'll call that the flip test. Let's do the drop test. Yeah, friction shots. Why do we still have friction shots? How much can it cost to take to put a little bit of oil in there? All right. Let's check out what the rest of it looks like. Take the body work off, take the sticker off so that we can see it. And let's see what we got here. Just showing you that, look at that. How cool is that we have? It is all four wheel independent suspension, a nylon body, uh, metal components in the drive shaft, four wheel drive, two S, so it's gonna have a 30 amp ESC as well as I think this is a 380 motor. This could be an eligible target for does it burn? We'll have me, we'll see. Maybe if uh, we get excited, maybe we'll throw a 3S in there, see what happens. Should be crazy fast. Should have been crazy fast already. It's got this cute little servo here, which is really all it needs. Now I will say, I will say as these things go, yes, it is friction suspension, but it seems to work pretty nice. 
And it seems to have, in a relative sense, a lot of ground clearance. Sometimes these 16th scales don't have a lot of suspension movement and ground clearance. This one looks pretty darn good. I guess I don't have to say this one looks pretty darn good because you already saw me play with it. You already saw the review. Now you were just seeing what came in the box and what the internals look like one more time so you could see that because it might not survive. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time.